Child rape by police is a deeply disturbing and heinous crime that not only violates the victim, but also breaches the trust placed in law enforcement authorities. Cases involving such crimes can have profound and long-lasting impacts on victims, their families, and communities. These incidents often lead to calls for stringent accountability, reform in police practices, and enhanced measures to protect vulnerable individuals. New details tonight after a former Southport police chaplain and IMPD civilian employee is facing charges of child molestation. Court documents show that it happened over a hundred times, according to the allegations. Thanks for joining us tonight at 10. I'm Dan Spieler. And I'm Birchelle Edmay. Now that horrific case coming to light after the victim told the school counselor and the suspect made her feel unsafe, confiding there in that authority and adult. Fox 39's Scarlett O'Hara breaks down everything we know so far. Court documents say last month, a young girl confessed to her school counselor that she had been sexually abused for years. That led to an investigation into a man with former ties to IMPD and Southport Police, who now faces child molestation charges. 73-year-old Sylvester Driscoll is accused of sexually abusing an 8-year-old girl dozens of times over the past couple of years. Her school counselor told investigators the child described feeling unsafe around him that Driscoll showed her sexually explicit material on his phone, touched and raped her, and used threats to keep her quiet. These are the worst possible cases. They are heart-wrenching and horrible, and the thought of someone harming a child like this is just, it's unthinkable. Beth White, president of the Indiana Coalition to End Sexual Assault and Human Trafficking, says when victims are that young, they often react through regressive behaviors. Behaviors the girl's counselor noticed, according to court documents. In other cases, children of that age will become violent themselves, or they'll become sexually inappropriate. We often hear about young people starting to act out some of the things that they've seen. Southport Police confirmed Driscoll once served as chaplain, but retired several years ago. He also worked as a civilian employee for IMPD from 1996 through 2019. Most recently, our law enforcement sources confirmed Driscoll was part of the Center Township Constable staff. And then to have uh, somebody who should be an, uh, an authority figure who is positive that's pointing people in the right direction uh, to take advantage of their authority and power to create more trauma and drama in the life of a child is just devastating. Reverend David Green with Concerned Clergy of Indianapolis says this case highlights a mental health crisis plaguing Marion County. It's extremely alarming and frustrating because at the core we should always be protecting our children. The good news if there is any in this horrific situation is that this child's come forward, she's been believed, and, and this person's going to be held accountable for their behavior. Both IMPD and Southport Police declined our requests for formal interviews. In Indianapolis, Scarlett O'Hara, Fox 59 News. Hey everyone, today I'm diving into a deeply troubling and important topic. The 2024 scandal involving police officers caught in a child pornography ring. So how did we get here? It all started with an extensive investigation by federal authorities. Over the past year, they uncovered a network operating across multiple states involving not just civilians but also individuals sworn to uphold the law. Now when we think of police officers, we think of protectors, people who put their lives on the line to keep us safe. But in this dark twist, some officers wound on the other side of the line. The investigation revealed that these officers used their positions of power to hide their heinous activities, exploiting the trust placed in them by the community. Why did these officers do it? Well, that's a complex question. Some were driven by personal demons, others by a deep-seated sense of invulnerability, thinking their badges shielded them from justice. This scandal has shaken public confidence and raised serious questions about oversight accountability within police forces. Authorities have already arrested several officers, and more arrests are expected as the investigation continues. The public outcry has been massive, with many demanding thorough reform and stricter screening processes for law enforcement personnel. This is just about punishing the guilty. It's about understanding how such a breach of trust could happen and ensuring it never happens again. It's about protecting the most vulnerable among us and holding accountable those who exploit their power 
for nefarious purposes. In the wake of this scandal, communities are coming together to demand transparency and justice. It's a painful reminder that vigilance is necessary, even when it comes to those who are supposed to be our protectors. So what can we do? Stay informed, stay involved, and keep pushing for the changes that ensure our police forces are trustworthy and accountable. Thanks for watching. If you found this video informative, please like and share. And remember, awareness is the first step towards change. Stay safe and stay vigilant.